just nonsense things that we got to clean up to have uh, a couple of those penalties. But, you know, we do some things to overcome it. Uh, I think a critical point uh, in the game, you know, we just it just felt like it was right there for us to push it over the edge. I thought uh, Hightower claimed up and down that he caught that pass in, in the back of the end zone, and obviously that went to replay. So I think that was kind of not just a, a mental play for, for – our kids, but like they really, you know, Brian was just animated that he caught that. So I, I think if that would have, you know, happened, um, but a game isn't made out of what it could have, should have. So we got to overcome those moments. Um, I think the the part that uh, was positive, right? Like we had a lot of guys, we are paper thin at certain positions. So uh, Julian Pearl wasn't available for the game, but we moved Isaiah. Adams out the left tackle. Jordan Slaughter went in there. I know he rushed for some good numbers, uh, but we weren't able to rush in the most critical moment down there in the in the red low red area to come away with a score. So, um, you know, I think from a health standpoint, I think we came out a little bit good. Taz, um, you know, who obviously couldn't be out there at the beginning of that last phase, he'd been nursing himself through a little bit of a soft tissue. Didn't even know we we're going to have him this week. He uh, found a way to make it go, but you know. Um, I think for the most part we came out of it pretty, pretty healthy. Um, but you know it's going to be a big, uh, big week ahead of us. Uh, we got a long drive back home. We got to hydrate. It's been a long game here today. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, one that we got to make sure that we recover from tomorrow. The guys will have the day off uh, by NCAA rules. We didn't take one on Monday, so uh, kind of tomorrow we'll, we'll hopefully learn a lot about our players on how they recover and get themselves ready for a Sunday practice and then uh, Virginia on the backside. So uh, with that, open up for questions. You know, at halftime, I, I did make reference to both both sides of the ball that you know we had rushed for over 100 yards. I think they had 12 yards at the half. I'm like, you know, for for Indiana to win the game, it was evident that they were going to have to throw the football. Right? Um, uh, there were there was uh, you know a couple. Critical plays there. I think that we got to make sure that uh, what we're doing defensively, just make sure we're not giving them easy access, right? To den deny some uh, some leverage on the routes. I think we're playing a little bit of improper leverage, but um, you know it wasn't one call, and it really, as much as it comes down to that last drive, it shouldn't have come down to that last drive. I think that game is something that that game should have been won, you know, midway through the third quarter when when we came out, got a defensive stop, and our offense went down and did what they did. Obviously, with a turnover on defense, and then the offense to take advantage of it. Um, I think that's a point where a good team or a team that we hope to be can can put the foot on the on the on the gas there and hopefully take it away. Yeah, really just felt like we again had been pushing ourselves right to the brink and um, you know had had a couple situations where we didn't come away with uh, points. I, I I thought defensively we were playing really good football, so that was probably the biggest decision more than anything. We felt good about the call. I had. We had several timeouts. I know. I know. Obviously, uh, the result was uh, a failure, so that that's on me, 100. percent But yeah, I, I I really felt at that time we go up two scores and we could kind of take the game. And for a team that's trying to learn how to win, I think we needed that 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 buffer to to to, to win this game. Um, I think the defense made a stop right away and came back with it. So uh, you know the the momentum swing that you hopefully avoided um, uh, didn't didn't prevail, but. Yeah, we got to come away with points. Um, uh, you know, a, a, a couple of those uh, field goal opportunities that, um, you know, touchdowns it could have been. And then we kind of had the, even that play there at the end, you know, with um, uh, Caleb hit the long field goal. But that was, again, a self inflicted uh, penalty that could have put us maybe in a situation to possibly go for it. Well, I think we'll have to be brutally honest with our coaches, right? Like they, they, there's a, a you know a play that uh, we turn the ball over on a, on a on a backwards pass. That's not supposed to be that way. We're supposed to, uh, so we have to have a better design concept to make sure that doesn't happen. That's on me. Um, you know, every aspect of the game, offense, defensively, I think we just got to make sure that what we're teaching and what we're saying is what we're we're, we're demanding we get right. And and um, you know, it's football one on one to make sure that we can put ourselves in a position to be successful. Um, I think that you know our coaches have done a great job building relationships with our players, and it's in moments like this where those you're going to really, really lean on, really, really, really rely and lean on those um, uh, on those relationships because this is this is a tough one to lose. Uh, this time, in, you know, of the season, early on against a, a Big Ten opponent on the road, and in a, in a, we did about everything we could do to mess this up. And in the end, uh, um, uh, the only thing we can do is learn from this because if we don't, it will, history will repeat itself again. Yeah, I think we weren't able to, you know. Um, 
uh, for sure, we were able to, to run the ball as closer we got to the goal line, right? Like there was definitely some some times where, uh, including the fourth down call, right? Like we were you know, trying to get the ball, and and obviously they had one too many for us to block, or they they got off uh, and made a play on the edge. Uh, I think we had a, you know, it's the first time that Barry's been down in those situations with with our offense. For us as a head coach, uh, for in, in in that moment, I got to do a better job of um, setting the, the expectation once we get down there of how we how we got to convert, but. Um, you know, when you you get down that low and the, you, you know touchdowns, win games, field goals, you know, make it a contest. But we got to be able to score touchdowns when we're in that low red. Our our defense. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I was I was. I was trying to be ahead of the chain, so I really wasn't watching the schematic. I know what the play was called, but I really didn't even see the uh, because I, I, we had three timeouts, and I did. I kept saying, "Hey, if we don't like the call, we don't like the call. We get a timeout." Uh, but we felt good about where it was. I would have liked to get a possibility a little bit more pressure, um, you know, to make that decision come out. But we just there were too many uncontested balls on that last drive, right? If we're gonna um, play a scheme, we got to make sure that we we contest them either at the line of scrimmage or in their route, so that they just don't have easy access. Uh, with some, you know, to get, give Indiana credit, um, uh, they were able to, you know, execute it at its best when it was one of the most critical critical points. I think anytime you can put a pressure on a quarterback mentally or physically, that's going to help you, right? And and yeah, I don't know, um, you know, if I could sit here right now and say what what kind of pressure we did or didn't get. I, I know there was a couple hits on him that that we got there and landed. Uh, I know there was a couple miscue on our rushes that uh, if we, there was one for sure when we lost contain that you know resulted in a big play. Um, you know, uh, and and really haven't faced a a running quarterback yet. You know, so I think that element uh, is it is definitely a challenge that we got to be up for when we start seeing these other quarterbacks that we're going to face. Well, it, it you know I think Chase is our our best back, right? He's our number one back, and and um, you know he he wants to be in there. I think that you know Reggie and Chase Hayden both uh, came and prepared and knew that they were going to. Uh, have to be in there, and, it, and there was a, a point when he took that big hit, right? And I said, "Hey, let's just make sure two's all right," because I know what he's going to say. But we have to make sure he's there. I would say, you know, 36 carries is a lot. We can't we can't sustain that for for a 12 game season. So we'll have to uh, come up with different ways to get the other guys involved in the game, and as well as other players, distribute the ball around a little bit different. Because um, 36 carries for a Big Ten back is is uh, you know occasionally it's going to be okay, but that's that's nothing you can build a, an entire season off of. How much does it hurt not having Josh McCray, especially a short yard and getting in the red game? Yeah, Josh is a good player. Um, you know, anytime you you have a player and uh, you don't have him, it's going to affect you. But I, 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 you know, it didn't. You know, there wasn't any woes me coming in this game. I, I think Chase and jo, uh, Chase and uh, um, uh, Reggie both did a nice job in preparation. Uh, I don't know exactly how it played out. I don't really. I, I, as coaches, we always have a plan before the game starts. I'm not really monitoring reps during the course of the game, um, but I know there's sometimes where uh, 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 CP rolled Reggie in there as well as as Chase, and it just uh, obviously didn't ever uh, didn't didn't ever convert into anything big. But I thought those guys did a nice job when their number was called. Yeah, you know, it's just I, I kept, I, I said literally because we have a, an agreement with our players, right? Like, hey, we want to win, they want to win. If you feel you like you catch it, I want you to come to me. There was a play last week, uh, right before the end of the half, that um, uh, um, we we caught a ball and and, and I just didn't. Uh, it was PB Pat Bryant caught a ball about 20 seconds right before the half and. He he knew he was in. He pointed, and I didn't see him across the way. So we had a meeting on Sunday uh, where I showed the replay of that. Um, and I said, "Hey, if you guys feel like this is something you did, right? Like, be adamant to me. Hey, you'll let the officials know you thought you caught it, but also for me that I can make a challenge." So PB came running through the traffic, and he came. He looked at me. He goes, "Coach, I caught it. Coach, I caught it." I said, "Okay." So I told, I walked up to the official, and I said, "I'm assuming you're going to replay this. If not, I'm going to challenge this." Our guy feels he caught it, and and. Um, they don't really give you an explanation. They just come in and tell you whether or not they confirm or deny. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's tough because, you know, you want to see the reward and the dividends of your work. But um, I'm just, you know, you, you'll start winning games when you deserve. And we did not deserve to win this game um, the way that we uh, functioned uh, at times. So we did, again, a lot of really good things. I think there's a lot to be excited about. I think uh, people want to uh, be entertained and, and, and see some good things. I think to come to the game next week would be a great opportunity. Um, we'll make some improvements. Uh, I think we just got to constantly... Uh, keep finding avenues and new players because we're just paper thin, really, at, at certain positions. And uh, at times, uh, they, they'll, those things are going to rear their ugly head. So uh, we got to weather the storm. I know I got a locker room full of disappointed players. It's it's really hard um, because, you know, you, it, I think there's a great relationship with our players. Uh, it's hard to when they're down to correct them and make them understand what they have to do. But uh, it's tough love. They have to understand it. They have to see it. And to be quite honest, I don't know how much the coaches are going to have to point out. They're going to, they're going to understand just just little simple things uh, that, uh, you know, we, we're making it harder on ourselves than we need to be. We need to do. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. You guys travel safe.